How to more death battles. This time we got villains versus each other. It's like sort of like Boy versus Doomsday, but we got Venom from Spider Man versus Bane from Batman. And speaking of Batman, there's also him versus a Mortal Kombat character, Scorpion. Let's see who wins in these videos.
strong enough to bust down metal doors with his fists, tear apart large military trucks, or throw cars several blocks away. I mean, part of that's gotta be Brock. Have you seen how much that dude can lift? Most impressively, Venom once held up a giant carnival ride similar to a Ferris wheel, even after getting struck by one of his worst weaknesses, a sound gun. A sound gun? That's pretty lame. So, like, I can just beat him if I scream really loud? With enough sound or literal firepower, yes, you could force the symbiote to expose the vulnerable host underneath. Though I should note that repeated exposure has helped Venom build up some tolerance. Also, while the symbiote is highly versatile, Venom is not exactly a strategist. Unsurprising given his apparent insanity. I like being mad. It makes me happy. The symbiote also requires a diet containing the chemical phenethylamine. Venom, you know what? You like buy that at the store or? No, it's found in certain fungi, chocolates, and brain matter, which the symbiote greatly hungers for. Oh great, now it eats brains! God, this guy is literally a living nightmare. Eddie, is that you? There's no more Eddie, and no more symbiote. Only Venom. In his personal mission to drive crime from Gotham City, Batman has faced dozens of foes, each more vile and cunning than the last. But none challenged his sheer willpower more than the monstrous man called Bane. Bane's life was screwed from the start. He was born into prison and made to carry out his dead dad's life sentence. Talk about carrying the sins of your father. I mean, who puts a baby in jail? Couldn't it just, like, crawl through the bars to, to make a baby jail? I have so many questions. The child spent his dawning years in captivity, forced to fend for himself against the cruel and unforgiving world. Then one day, a fateful accident caused something to snap inside him. I'm guessing his neck. No, well, it should have. Instead, the boy slipped into a coma where he saw a vision of his future self. A man standing above all other men. Future self told him he would be second to none so long as he could conquer the power of fear, which is apparently shaped like a bed. Ah, would you look at that? What are the odds? Uh... When the child awoke, he began his journey to conquer that fear through the power of bloody murder. Hell yeah! That's also when the prison warden called him a Bane to everything holy. And that's why he's named Bane. Ugh, two out of ten. Anyway, it wasn't long before Bane caught wind of a certain bat ruling Gotham City by fear. But he got no work trying to become the ridiculously jacked guy he saw in his dream so he could take down Batman once and for all. As he grew up, Bane entered an intense daily workout regimen, not just of his body, but his mind as well. He educated himself in ten languages, escapology, combat tactics, and several martial arts, including a few he created himself. Bane pretty much became a legend across the prison. So to remind everybody who was in charge, the warden decided to make an example of him. See, this place wasn't just a prison. The army of Santa Prisco was conducting tests on human subjects with an experimental formula called Venom. Because super soldier formulas are all the rage. The procedure had killed every previous test subject, but Bane proved hardier than expected. <laughs> and after he had a taste, Bane wanted Venom for himself, so he faked his own death, punched a few sharks to death, and liberated the whole prison single-handed. The inmates joined his cause, and he took his new super soldier serum to Gotham City. Using a special apparatus on his wrist, Bane can administer a dosage of Venom directly into his brain at will. Doing so dramatically increases his muscle mass, turning him into one of Gotham City's most ferocious physical threats. <laughs> He's destroyed the Batmobile with his bare hands, jumped off skyscrapers without injury, and lifted loaded armored trucks which weigh tens of thousands of pounds. And then there's the feat he's most famous for, breaking the back of Batman. But Bane didn't just break bone, he literally put poor Batman into a coma. Well, years later, Batman did get his revenge. After swapping powers with Superman, he paid Bane a visit and broke his everything. And somehow, this didn't kill him. He's one tough son of a bitch, and if he needs it, Bane can crank up his flow of venom for more strength and faster healing. 
But when he first tried this, it came in a cusp. Turns out an overdose of venom can temporarily deteriorate one's mind, turning Bane into a mindless, muscle-bound beast. Bane is also surprisingly addictive, so eventually Bane swore up the stuff for some time. But this only let Bane prove that he is just as dangerous even without the performance-enhancing drug. He's been pelted by dozens of bricks at once and taken countless stabbings and bullets without even reacting. He once cauterized his own wound with a blowtorch and even got thrown hundreds of yards by a last woman and got right back up ready to fight. Still off the juice, Bane is strong enough to tear down a stone prison wall, casually rip off an armored guy's limbs, and take out dozens of members of the League of Assassins solo. But if he really needs to, he can always fall off the wagon and get back on the venom. Bane's absurd power is matched only by his intelligent mind. He possesses a photographic memory, rivals Ra's al Ghul in chess, and deduced the identity of Batman in one year when nobody else could figure it out. Yeah, Bane's pretty ridiculous, but it's no secret that he's at his best when he's got that venom juice pumping through his veins. Luckily for him, he eventually developed a form of venom that didn't turn his brain into mush, and he then soon got addicted to that stuff all over again. Still, Bane has proven over and over again that with or without Venom, anyone who crosses him will beg for mercy and receive none. When we fought before, I broke the bat. Today, I break the man. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But all this strange tongue has reminded me I gotta bulk up, and the best way to do it is with a delicious home-cooked meal. Let's get to the fight. Jack shit. Thank you. 
Holy shit. Okay. That was way messed up. But cool. And he assumes a Spider-Man. Is he not to date in anything? Okay, that was pretty messed up. Hope you guys liked the video.